This group of junior high school girls curled their hair in the mirror, untie the collar and raise the short skirt high, even clip the eyelashes and mouth full of lipstick. All they think about is dressing up. They don't know what studying is. Because if you enroll in this school, you get guaranteed admission to college. So much so that Lisa and her girlfriends, there was no pressure to study at all. They used to sleep in class and put on makeup. The teachers couldn't even catch them dancing at night. Mom and Dad didn't care if they went home all night. Since the birth of her brother, he took away all the love that Dad had for Lisa. She didn't get any attention except scolding. As a result, Lisa became more and more rebellious. The only person in the family who cared about her was her mother. She was the one who suggested Lisa to go to this school. She only wanted Lisa to live happily. Nothing else mattered. However, her mother's connivance led her to degenerate. Lisa and her girlfriends learned it to smoke. The class teacher found out. Lisa didn't tell her girlfriends names for the sake of friendship. She took the blame alone and was disciplined by the school. She was suspended from school indefinitely. The chance to go to college was also lost. And at that moment, mom couldn't bear to see her daughter with only a high school diploma. So she enrolled Lisa in a nearby tutoring institution. Lisa could only study to get into college by herself. Lisa also had no choice and decided to give it a try. On her first day of school, she wore her curly blonde pink hair, wearing a rocky camisole and super short jeans. Mr. T, who came in, was stunned by her, but he didn't criticize Lisa. Instead, he humorously talked to Lisa about trends. On the admissions test, Lisa did get a zero, and she did all the papers of an elementary school student. Mr. Tia patiently explained to Lisa the teacher praised her wild ideas for solving problems. She also praised her positive attitude and encouraged her to set a goal. Lisa without hesitation, she chose Harvard University, which has the most handsome man. She took Harvard as her motivation to study. She excitedly announced to her family and friends this exaggerated goal. Except for her mother, no one believed she could reach it. But in her heart, she was even more determined to achieve this goal. Gradually, Lisa found a new value in tutorials. She was happy with every new knowledge she learned. Her mother saw how happy Lisa was learning. In order to earn money for her tutorials, she was also working hard to earn money. Lisa works too hard. She does her homework while her friends are seen. She did exercises every day. She did math on the weekends at dinner parties. She wouldn't even go to bed until 12. Yet a few months ago Lisa, she was still a student. All she thought about was how to look pretty. All she knew how to do was eat, drink and have fun. She couldn't even tell where she was going. She didn't care if people laughed at her for being stupid. Ever since Lisa started attending tutorials, her attitude towards learning has changed. Her girlfriends have asked Lisa to study hard so that she won't be affected. They have asked Lisa to study hard, not to play with them anymore. After Lisa focused on her studies, she started asking her elementary school sister for help with problems. She was always the first one to go to the tutorials and do the problems. When Lisa came home, she ran to her room to read. Her notes were taped all over the house. Lisa taught herself middle school English in three weeks and scored 100 points. Through Miss Tia's encouraging teaching, Lisa became more and more confident. Lisa returned to school after her disciplinary action was dropped. As she had studied late into the night the night before, she couldn't resist falling asleep on her desk. The class teacher continued to target him. He learned that Lisa wanted to go to Harvard. He immediately began to taunt. How can someone like you get into Harvard? At the urging of her girlfriends, Lisa made a bet with the teacher. Whoever loses will run naked. Not only did the teacher hate her, and her father didn't believe her at all. Dad only cares about his son. He thinks that only his son can make his baseball dreams come true. He gave all the good things to his son. He bought all kinds of new baseball equipment for his son. He also took his son to train every day. And he also demanded that his son must win every game. It was because the father imposed his selfish ideas on Lisa's brother. Lisa's brother had a breakdown the day he left the team alone. When the father found out, he went crazy and beat his brother. The family couldn't stop him. The mother, who could not stand it anymore, took a bat and hammered the car window. This was the only way to stop the out of control scene. Mom yelled at her husband in tears. She put her husband by the collar, complaining about his lack of concern for Sasha, and explained to him that her brother had asthma. It was all because of the father's verbal abuse. The next day, the father burned all of his brother's baseball equipment and sincerely apologized to the brother. At that time, the brother had lost hope for his life. He was good for nothing but playing baseball. After hearing this, Lisa. Lisa went up to her brother and handed him his report card. Lisa finally passed after studying so hard. Anything is possible. The brother's eyes became more and more determined. The thing that scares me most during exams is diarrhea. And now he was in the middle of his exams. Lisa frowned and covered her stomach. 
Remembering the can of coffee she drank before the exam, she felt like the English exam was over. Two, she had to go back and forth to the bathroom three times. She was getting restless. She couldn't read the English on the test at all. Frustrated, she went home and lay in bed. She knew that she had failed the test. And Miss T, who gave Lisa coffee, was still praying for Lisa. This optimistic teacher has a heart for education. He believes that every student has the ability to surpass himself. That's why he's always helping Lisa. Lisa didn't know anything about history. He let Lisa read the manga version of Japanese history, expressing her opinion through reading, mastering how to write a short essay. He also asked her to watch the news broadcast every day, pay more attention to current events. Lisa accepted Mr. T's study method. She is no longer resistant to study, but there are still too many classes she missed before. Three months of hard work alone was not enough. In the two model exams, Lisa received failing grades in both of them. She was in self-doubt and wanted to give up. Her mother accompanied her to the youth university to experience the atmosphere of the university together. Lisa became more determined. It was because she was surrounded by people who loved her. She didn't go on losing her mind. Get herself together. Picked up her books and prepared for her last exam. After the exam, Lisa was nervous to check her score, moving the mouse and closing her eyes to be precise. Lisa was lucky. She was accepted to Harvard University. With tears in her eyes, she reported the good news to her mother. She was so excited that she rode her bicycle to see Mr. T. She embraced her teacher. Everyone was happy for Lisa. Before she left for college, Lisa and her father put aside their differences. She jumped on her father's back with excitement. She laughed as much as she did when she was a child. She did it. She didn't let her father down. And she didn't let her mother's labor go to waste. On the high-speed train to the university, she read Mr. Tia's letter carefully, looking out the train window. Mr. Tia waved his hands to bid her farewell as she passed by. There are many choices on the track of life. We will also turn into different intersections. Under the destiny, every decision we make, all have unexpected results. How many people will really work hard for their dreams? Most people are lazy and not strong-willed. They give up in the middle. Maybe Lisa is lucky, but luck is mixed with 100% effort.